Hi there, it's Matty Fu here. I'm just gonna run through my what sold on eBay.ca for um, November of 2017, more or less. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Uh, so this one is a Yamaha uh, knit sweater. Um, pretty old, probably from the 80s. Uh, not in the greatest condition. Um, fairly worn I did uh, take my um, fuzz shaver to it and got as many of the fuzz balls off as I could but it's still um, along the bottom has some pretty worn spots yeah this one really shows it um, so like you know looks pretty pretty worn but some people like that uh, so I picked this up for I think it was like four bucks uh, took took quite a while to sell, uh, but it did sell for twenty nine dollars, so I'm happy with that. Uh, by quite a while to sell, I mean uh, probably four months. And so here, the next one we have a Starbucks mug. I uh, picked this up for a buck, and it sold for twenty five dollars. Uh, took uh, probably two or three months, I'd say. Pretty nice one, not nothing too crazy. Um, yeah, got a good price for it, so that's cool. Uh, sold for 25 plus shipping. Uh, here we have a Canon 137 toner. Um, I actually sold three of these in one batch. I originally had them listed at, I wanna say it was $90 each. And this guy sent me a message saying, I'd, I'd like to get two of them. Uh, would you take, I can't even remember what he offered, but it was really low. Uh, I think it was like 50 bucks. And I said, uh, no, that's too low. Uh, but I would go down to $60 um, plus shipping if you take all three of them. And so he did. And uh, I picked these up from Superstore actually for 22 bucks each in their clearance section. And so yeah, that was a pretty sweet one sold within a month of getting them. So I was pretty happy with that. So that ended up being like uh, 200 bucks total. And here we have uh, some bootlegger riding boot trees. Um, so these are for like horseback riding boots, uh, like equestrian style. Uh, so yeah, pretty crazy looking contraptions. They keep the, the leather from getting all uh, floppy, I guess, or creased. Uh, I picked these up. It was in a bag at Value Village and it had these plus one other set of the more traditional boot trees that go uh, in the, the like foot part. Uh, I think it was $5. Uh, these sold really quick, so like within a week of listing them actually. Um, they're in really good condition, some scrapes and stuff, but a lot better than the previously sold ones, so I was pretty happy. Uh, here we have some Canon extension tubes for the Canon FL, um, whatever you call it, mount. Uh, so yeah, sold them. Two of them uh, went for 24 bucks. Uh, these are for getting macro uh, shots, like when you want to get really close. Uh, you hook these up to a lens and it lets you focus in pretty close. Um, so yeah, 24 bucks plus shipping. Uh, I think I paid, I think I got these ones with another set as well for, for about $10 and the other set was larger and I sold it previously for a little bit more than this. So pretty good. Uh, here we have a Canon PowerShot A710 uh, digital camera not too much to it it's it's just a normal uh, consumer digital camera that takes uh, normal double uh, a batteries I want to say 
uh, sold for 40 bucks. I think I picked this camera up for about $7. Um, so yeah, people are still buying these older uh, consumer digital cameras. Like they're not paying a ton, but 40 bucks, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, here we have Sergey, the meerkat from uh, Compare the Market. And so I guess that's a company in Australia or something. And they put out different meerkats uh, every year or so. I'm not, I'm not totally sure how it works. Uh, so I saw this. I thought it was interesting. I, I looked it up and there were some solds. And so, yeah, I bought it and sold it for 20 bucks. Um, I think I paid like $3 for it. Um, but yeah, it was pretty funny. I thought a little nerd meerkat. Okay, so this one is a airplane gauges belt buckle. Uh, this one I couldn't find any uh, comps. So I was just pricing it by my gut. Um, I did see some other American belt buckle company uh, belt buckles uh, that had sold. Not a ton, like there's there's more listed than have been sold. Um, but I thought this was kind of an interesting subject matter. Um, you know, people, <laughs> people who fly planes typically have some spending money kicking around. Uh, so it's, it's a bit worn, a bit pitted, um, but still really cool looking it has like a limited edition thing on it i don't know if it's i don't know if it's really that limited or not uh but i didn't see any other ones out there uh it's from the uh, late 70s 1979 and so i priced it what i thought was high uh, at 32 bucks and it sold and i actually picked this up uh, from an antique shop about an hour away from here and the lady there was super friendly uh, nothing was priced <laughs> and so uh, I was sort of prepared to pay uh, 10 or 15 bucks for this and she let me have it for two bucks so that was pretty amazing and she also told me a good auction in her area to check out so uh, definitely worth the stop okay so this is a slide ruler uh, slide rule I guess and so it's for doing math uh, I sell a few of these um, they, n they never go for a ton of money um, I'm sure some of the wood ones probably do uh, but I always see them they're usually in the like stationary section for they price them like a like a normal school ruler so I just pick them up and they're really fast to take pictures of and you know they sell so $12 plus shipping uh, for this one I paid a buck uh, here we have a Starbucks travel mug uh, ceramic so it's kind of cool this girl holding the balloon uh, super clean yep uh, paid a buck for that one sold it for 24 bucks plus shipping uh, here we have a pair of Asics Ooh, Onitsuka Tiger Shoes. Um, yeah, they're pretty cool looking. They're in very good condition. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're vintage, but I, I'm not an expert on shoes. Uh, I clean them up really good, I think. Uh, so, yep. I bought them for, I think it was $6, maybe 8 uh, sold them for $29 plus shipping. Uh, the buyer was really happy. Uh, he sent me a message afterwards about how they were in better condition than the pictures even showed. So he was super happy. So I like, I, I kind of top down my clothing items in the condition uh, just so that people are pleasantly surprised when they get them. So that worked out well for that one. Uh, here we have a thermos uh, replacement liner thing. Uh, I see these quite a bit. Um, I Sometimes I pick them up, sometimes I don't. It sort of depends on the size. 
Um, they're kind of a funny thing where it's like, it's made of glass, but it's also like <laughs> really sturdy glass. So, so I'm not too scared to ship them. Uh, I've never had one break in transit before. Uh, this one actually had some weirdness. So it's really hard to see. Uh, but the plastic on the bottom is kind of cracked and that's not normal. Um, so this one took a little longer to sell probably because of that. Uh, it is clean, hasn't, hasn't been used as far as I can tell. Usually if they have been used, they'll smell funky. Uh, so yeah, I picked this up for a, a buck or two and sold it for 13. Um, they're always at the thrift stores. Like, I, I don't know. People must have like bought a new thermos and got the um, liner at the same time just in case and never used it until it ends up getting donated. It's kind of weird. Um, you can still buy these new. Uh, so they're, they're never going to be worth a whole lot, but uh, when they're super cheap, sometimes I pick them up. Here's my big sale of the month. Uh, this is a Datamax uh, thermal printer. Uh, it's for printing labels, barcodes, that sort of stuff. Uh, I picked up six of these, and this is the first one that I got listed and sold. Um, it went to actually a company that deals in laser printers um, on the other side of the country. So I don't know if it's for a customer of theirs or what. Um, but yeah, paid 60 bucks for it, sold it for 340 uh, plus shipping. Uh, it took me <laughs> uh, probably an hour and a half to package this thing up and get it shipped out. But when they're paying that much for it, I'm happy to spend the time. Uh, this is like a serious commercial unit. Um, I went through and tested it and printed off the, uh, I don't know if I included it in the pictures. I think I had so many pictures that it never made the cut. Uh, but I printed off the configuration uh, file, I guess you'd call it. Um, and so that tell told me um, how many uh, how many inches it had printed in its lifetime and it was under 3000 which is really really low for this type of uh, industrial commercial type unit um, I think the lifespan for the print head is like I don't, I don't remember I want it's it's a lot so this was like less than um, probably less than 10% of the lifespan of the print head had been printed. So basically someone got it for half of the retail price and it had only been used like 10% of the most, <laughs> the thing that wears out. So they got a good deal. I got a ridiculously good deal when I bought these. Uh, I'm for sure keeping one of these for myself. I, I've started using it for my Amazon barcodes uh, where I sell stuff on Amazon FBA. I might keep a second one uh, for doing my eBay labels. I'm not sure yet. Uh, we'll see how it goes. It, <laughs> when you make, you know, over 200 bucks when one sells, it's kind of tempting to just sell them all and uh, buy myself a smaller unit, but we'll see how it goes. They're they're really awesome, super fast printers. Uh, and it also does thermal transfer printing, which is like kind of a crazy process to itself where it doesn't need um, thermal labels. It like uses this ribbon that, uh, it's crazy, it's complicated, but they're super fancy and they go for big money as you can see. So I was really happy when that one sold and the nice thing about this and having a bunch of them is when this one sells, I basically just drag the other one out, snap a bunch of pictures, drop them in, and I have the second one listed. So pretty sweet. Uh, here we have a Olympus Trip lens cap. 
Uh, Olympus Trip is a film camera. Uh, it's a really cool looking one. Uh, you can sort of see it in this picture here. Um, so these are like a, a friction fit lens cap. So they have to be like the perfect size. There's no, there's no spring or anything and people lose them. Uh, and so they're pretty expensive to, to replace. I'm sure there's someone out there 3d printing them, but, uh, even that would probably cost more than this. And so I, I looked at the solds and it seems like they're going for about $25, um, like with shipping included. And so I put mine up for $15, uh, plus shipping and, uh, a person messaged me and said, Hey, I'd like to buy this, but the shipping is pretty expensive for the, uh, expedited parcel. I'm not in a hurry. Would you be okay with sending it letter mail? And so I checked out their, um, feedback left for other sellers and it was all good and there were no warning flags. And so I took the risk and I sent it to them letter mail. I got to them super quick and they left feedback. So all was good. Uh, I bought, I got this lens cap with a broken Olympus trip and I sold the, actually I buy these like basically every time I see them, lots of them are broken, the Olympus trips. Uh, there are people who take them apart and fix them. Uh, the common way they're broken is the aperture uh so the part that closes and opens like that uh those leaves i'm not using the right terminology they get stuck uh the oil they originally use gets gunky and basically sticks them together and you have to take the whole thing apart to fix that and there are people who do that but it's a very long and complicated process so i would never do that <laughs> um, but people who are really into the hobby do and so I sold a lot of two of the broken Olympus trips for I think it was like $40 maybe maybe 30 I'm not sure and then I sold this lens cap separately for $15 and basically I buy these when they're like five or six dollars um, maybe ten dollars if I know if it seems like everything's working properly on them. But uh, so yeah, there's some camera knowledge for you. <laughs> okay, next one. Uh, here is a, like a camping or hiking uh, folding table. Uh, it's really small, really like low. Uh, it's basically just a flat surface if you're you're hiking and you're scared you're gonna be on like rocky area uh, this gives you a flat surface to uh, put your cook stove on and stuff like that uh, or to have as like a side table in your tent uh, pick this up for a buck uh, garage sailing um, I thought it was cool I I thought it was a better brand but I think it's just a reproduction of that um, I thought it was the uh, GSI brand one but there's no markings at all on it um, but yeah still pretty cool sold for 16 bucks plus shipping uh, took a few months probably three or four months I think to sell uh, here we have a Sony uh, tape Walkman um, with AM FM tuner uh, yeah, it's in pretty rough condition. Like the the big yellow button there. The where it used to say AM FM and that's worn off and it has lots of uh scratches and scrapes. So yeah, not the greatest condition. I uh, picked it up for I think it was like 4 bucks I paid for this one. I thought it looked pretty cool. It has a hand strap. Uh it had a clip as well but it actually was a clip for a different Walkman. Uh, so I didn't include that. Um, but yeah, someone, I had this up, I think for 25 bucks and someone sent me a message saying, 
your shipping's expensive. I get that message all the time. Your shipping's expensive. There's nothing you can do, <laughs> you know? Like, um, if, if you know of a cheaper shipping option, I'm happy to send it that way. Nobody knows of a cheaper shipping option. So it's just people complaining and trying to negotiate, which is fine. Uh, and so I said, no, I can't do cheaper shipping. It's, it doesn't exist. Um, I'll drop the price a few bucks if you'd like. And, uh, just cause I had it for a while and the condition, I felt like I might've priced it a little high to start with. And so I went down, I said, um, you know, they offered me something super low. Like they wanted it for, I think they offered $20 shipping included and I said that's I said no uh, but what I can do is I'll I'll knock it down to $17 plus shipping uh, and depending on where they are that means it's probably like um, close to 17 plus 12 is 29 so close to 30 bucks um, maybe more if they're farther away um, and didn't hear from them, didn't hear from them, someone else bought it, didn't hear from them, didn't hear from them, like five days later, um, they sent me a message being like, okay, I'm ready to buy this now. <laughs> it's like, well, I'm sure you are, uh, it's long gone. So that happens, and that's kind of the advantage of saying, of not having best offers, um, because this way anyone else who is watching it could see hey that price went down eight dollars maybe I should scoop it up and so it, it kind of gives that sense of urgency for the person if they were paying attention and this one was not so whatever got it sold uh, here we have a Sangamo bus tachograph uh, this is a crazy thing for a school bus or I guess any kind of bus uh, totally vintage really cool looking don't know if it works or not um, well I should say I know it at least partially works uh, so this is a, a like full-on wind-up clock and that does work uh, the like speedometer part I don't know if that works or not I'd imagine it does but who knows uh, so yeah I cleaned this up pretty good it was pretty dirty when I got it um, I got it from a garage sale and I paid 15 bucks for it uh, just kind of going on my gut on that one I didn't look it up uh, I just thought it looked cool I figured worst case scenario it's a cool looking clock for myself um, looked up the comps when I got home and saw that they were going for, uh, 50 to $80. Uh, there's a few different models. Uh, and so I kind of decided on a price of 60, 60 ish dollars for mine. Uh, and yeah, it sold, uh, took, uh, two or three months, I'd say. So <laughs> the reason a lot of these are two or three months uh, between times I sold it I wasn't listing stuff for a long time so uh, that was kind of when I last listed stuff and so that's when stuff's gonna sell from and so yeah that one 15 bucks sold for 63 plus shipping uh, looked like it went to a place that restores cars so uh, hopefully they have a cool bus they're gonna put it in uh, here we have some uh, vintage mr. peanut uh, serving bowls uh, I bought these they weren't a great buy uh, there's lots of them listed on eBay uh, I thought they looked cool uh, so I picked them up for 15 bucks and it took a long time uh, probably six to eight months and they sold for 25 bucks plus shipping uh, but yeah they're they're cool looking so it's not I, I usually want to make a, a bit more than that on that $15 purchase, but that's all right. Uh, here we have a 
someone's like customized shooting shirt. Uh, this they cut the sleeves off and put that leather uh, gun rest. Uh, sold for twenty four bucks plus shipping. Uh, I paid I think seven dollars for it. I just thought it looked cool. Um, yeah, I I think I got this shirt from Value Village when I lived in Alberta. Uh, and so this is actually a U.S. military uh, shirt. It would have been now it's a vest and it is stamped as um where's I, i'm sure i have a picture of the stamp drmo which is i can't remember what it stands for but it, it basically means it's part of the surplus uh, chain now so you're fine to have it and sell it and whatever uh, here we have some uh, bar towels. Uh, these are both uh, British brands, uh, Green King and Tolly Kobold. I picked these up for a buck at a thrift store and sold them for $22 plus shipping. This was almost a year I had these. Uh, they're super tiny, take up no room at all. And I totally like selling bar towels because they just like I said, they're tiny, take up no room, and you can usually pick them up for 50 cents or a buck. Uh, yeah. Here we have some <laughs> sealed cassette tapes. I paid, um, it was something crazy cheap. It was like $2 for these. Uh, it's a 15 pack sealed. Um, yeah, sold them for 15 bucks plus shipping. There are people still using cassette tapes for um, like businessy stuff. A lot of the stuff that needs to go to court has to be on a like media like this. Or there are people releasing mixtapes and they want like actual tapes. So they sell. And the last one here is a Newsies cap. Uh, this is one of my uh, regular items. I have a ton of these hats. I picked them up for, some of them were a dollar each, some of them were two dollars each. They are new with PEG and I sell, I don't know, maybe every couple months I'll sell one. Uh, so they're just handy. I need to go in and retake the pictures because I did a pretty bad job here. I need to get my steamer going and make the hats look nice. Uh, but yeah, they still sell some every so often. Uh, this one went for $18 plus shipping. Um, kind of cool. They have the like Newsies, the musical embroidery on them. All right. Thanks for watching. And please like this video and subscribe if you'd like to see more like it. Thanks for watching.